everyone. Uh, just got to raw gym today. Going to be training shoulders and triceps. Um, if you watched our last week's episode, you'll see that I went and visited Keith Klein. Uh, he added in a high day today. That high day is Friday, so really excited about that. Eating a lot more carbs than normal. Feeling great because of it. Um, so we just mixed up our supercharge. We're about to train. This is actually uh, one of the first bottles that we got in of our new and improved supercharge. Uh, we bumped the caffeine up a little bit and then we used a uh, much finer mesh for all of the ingredients so the powder is a lot more micronized so uh, any of that grittiness you might have experienced or settling not going to be a problem anymore. So, And we improved the flavorings. I tried it for the first time yesterday, put it over 16 ounces of water and ice and felt like I was drinking like Kool-Aid. So definitely keep an eye out for that, it'll be dropping soon. Um, like I said, we're about to go get shoulders and triceps. After that, we're gonna be headed to the grocery store. I'm gonna show you just kind of what a typical trip to the grocery store looks like while I'm on prep. Gonna show you a couple of my uh, go-to meals. Um, definitely an improvement over your typical ground turkey and ground beef. Show you how to actually make it taste good. Um, and then after that, I'll be headed home to show you how I cook it all. And then got some really awesome news this week. I'm actually going to be signing a contract with a clothing company. So. Uh, if you want to figure out what company it is, keep on watching, but uh, we'll do that at my house a little bit later after we get done cooking. But right now we're about to go get it, so let's go. Alright guys, so we're about to get started with shoulders. Um, shoulders, a lot of the time, we'll start off training rear delts. Kind of in the same principle as training calves before we train quads or hamstrings. Just uh, it's an area of prioritization and uh, you're never going to have awesome rear delts if you know, like you're doing like three bullshit sets of tech deck rear flies at the end of your workout. So, to start with seated face pulls, uh, from there I'll probably head on over to the pec deck and do reverse pec deck with uh, some band pulls supersetted with it. And then uh, from there we'll uh, figure it out, but that's what we're doing now. Alright guys, so knocked out the rear delts. Uh, that's, that'll be all the rear delts we did today. We did four sets of the seated face pulls and then four sets of that super set. So definitely got some work in on them. Uh, now we're gonna move on to side laterals. Gonna train uh, like four working sets there uh, before moving on to a uh, banded Smith machine military press supersetted with uh, uh, seated side laterals where we like force the reps at the top uh, all the way to the bottom. Four. Fight, fight, ah. fight, fight it, come on. <sighs> Makes you feel alive. Alright, so that's a wrap on uh, shoulders, finish up with those table side laterals, just uh, really flush it out with blood, keep constant tension on it, and uh, really polish them off. Uh, moving on to triceps, we're going to start with uh, table press downs on the uh, I guess life fitness, usually it's free motion, but uh, yeah, basically you're going to be uh, doing the push downs, but you're doing opposite sides with the opposite arm, so you're really able to get like that outward squeeze as well as pulling them back. So. I really like these to start with. It's a really good activator, really kind of gets you in tune with triceps. So do a couple sets of these and move on to our next exercise. So just got in those four sets on the uh, single arm uh, press downs. So uh, from there, moving on to doing uh, press downs to the easy bar. Uh, we'll do four sets here, and then we will uh, pick our last exercise for the day for triceps. So.
All right guys, just got done training shoulders and triceps here at Raw Gym, about to make the shake. You've seen me make every single one of these episodes so far. So 50 grams of isolate, 150 grams of uh, carbolin from the recharge and a scoop of branch chain. So I'm gonna get that made, get it in my stomach and then I'm gonna head to uh, HEB to show you all what I need for meal prep. So I'll see you all at the grocery store. So these are the red potatoes I do. Uh, really simple, just boil them with a uh, like crawfish seasoning mix at home. It gives them a lot of flavor, a little bit of added sodium, but nothing too bad. So, and so uh, with the sweet potatoes, just a little trick of the trade. Uh, try and get them all around the same size. So when you bake them, they all are done around the same time. You get a bunch of different sized ones. You know, have to like pull some off and keep some in and everything like that. So just a little. So, uh, pre-diced uh, sweet onions for the meatloaf, and then uh, they do this thing called like Creole mix, which is like peppers, onions, and uh, some spices for the uh, turkey burgers. So, get those. All right, guys. So, picking up the ground meats, and uh, this is something that Keith Klein taught me a long time ago. You know. Uh, it's one of those marketing things that they like to do, calling things uh, like lean and having those comic book explosions saying, you know, like 94% fat free or like this one, 93% fat free. So 93% fat free sounds pretty lean, right? Well, look over at the nutrition panel and your calories from fat are at 70. It is almost half fat. So uh, just be uh, aware of that whenever you're selecting your ground meat. So, Compare that to the 99% turkey that we're gonna get. Fuck it. So this is the 99.1. When you look at nutrition facts on this, calories 120 calories from fat 15, so barely 10%. So huge difference. 93% sounds lean, not really lean for bodybuilding purposes. So 99.1 is what we get. I need seven of those. The ground beef's the same deal. Ground beef's, uh, you know, even worse. You know, you can get some really high fat ground beef, you know, like 73, 27, that's what you make burgers with. And when you look at the nutrition facts on that, it's literally more than half the fat, more than half of the calories come from fat. So moral of the story, look at the nutrition facts on your ground meats and your meats and food in general. So uh, for that meatloaf, we're gonna get 96% um, lean. Uh, next time I buy this, I'll be going to a different grocery store that actually carries a uh, brand called Springer Hill, and that's actually uh, 98.2. So the last couple weeks, I'll eat that 98.2 ground beef instead of the 96.4. So, yeah. The secrets to making the meatloaf taste good. So it's a uh, beefy onion soup mix. There's literally nothing to it except a bunch of sodium, which, uh, Right now, it doesn't matter to me. So these make the uh, just dropping everything. Make the ground beef taste really good in that meatloaf, and like I said, doesn't really add much to it nutrition-wise. So get these. Grab some eggs. So this is all about uh, five days worth of food, give or take. Um, got a bunch of oatmeal at home, so I don't need to grab oatmeal. And then like I said, the rice is, they don't have the ones I eat, so it's got enough to tide me over for like today and tomorrow. But uh, this is pretty much all I've eaten for the last, I guess, 10 weeks now. So uh, yeah, let's go to checkout. We'll get this checked out and then head home and cook it all. First protein source I'm going to show you how to make is that 
a Berkey meatloaf, which is the half ground turkey, half uh, ground beef. We're gonna make four pounds of it today. So we got two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of turkey. So first things first, we're gonna get all of the turkey and beef in this bowl. And so uh, after we get that in there, we're gonna take a big mixing fork and just not fling it all over the counter, but get it pretty mixed up. And for those of you out there wondering why not just eat eight ounces of ground beef, uh, Keith likes me eating some red meat, but not a ton. So uh, doing it like this, it gives me you know like something different to eat because I go kind of crazy eating ground turkey all day long. So that's why we do this. I eat a lot more red meat in the off season than I do when I'm contest prep. I like how I feel when I eat it, makes me uh, feel full. So, after you get that meat all mixed up, we're gonna take those diced sweet onions. We're gonna do about half of the container in there. So, like that. And then, about a quarter cup of ketchup. Uh, like two or three tablespoons of some spicy mustard. I like the gray coupon one. And then uh, whenever you're making this, you want to use uh, one egg per pound. So we're making four pounds. So I'm going to throw four eggs in there. And then uh, with the French onion soup mix, you want to use one pack per two pounds. So like I said, we're making four pounds. So we'll throw two of the soup mixes in there. All right, so after you got all that mixed up, we're gonna throw it onto a uh, baking sheet. And what you're gonna want to do is make like two little piles and shape it a little bit. Okay, so we got the meatloaf all set up. Uh, I will show you how to cook that as soon as we get the oven free. Uh, first step for those turkey burgers, I'm gonna be taking the Creole mix and uh, cooking it so they're all soft. So basically just a uh, pan, medium high heat, hit it with a little bit of Pam and throw that in there. And like I said, just kind of cooking until the veggies are soft. So like 10 minutes or so, uh, don't have to be covered or anything. So just let that cook. Uh, while this does its thing, I am going to get my post-workout meal in me. Like I said, at the gym, today's high carb day, so I have to get uh, 12 ounces of sweet potatoes and then eight ounces of uh, turkey from those turkey burgers that I'm actually starting to show you how to make. So let that do its thing and I'm gonna eat and then we'll get to making some turkey burgers. So for the meatloaf, once you have it all shaped and stuff on the pan, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is take some tin foil and uh, cover it don't have to be airtight, you actually don't want it airtight, you just want the top covered. Once you have the top covered, we're gonna cook it uh, same temperature as the sweet potato, so if you're using a convection oven, 320, if not, somewhere around 350. And you're gonna wanna bake it for about 50 minutes. At the end of the 50 minutes, you'll wanna pull the uh, top tinfoil cover off and just kinda check, make sure it's cooked all the way through. 
So we're gonna get this in there with the uh, other food and let those veggies keep on cooking for the turkey burgers. All right guys, so that meatloaf is in the oven. My food is in my stomach and it is time to do the turkey burgers. So uh, for the turkey burgers, we're gonna do four pounds of them. So uh, first things first, get all the meat, meat in here. So once you got it kind of loosely broken up, we're gonna take those veggies that we cooked for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna throw those in there. We're gonna take some uh, Italian seasoning. Just really liberally. We're gonna throw four eggs in there. So uh, once we have all that mixed up, we're gonna come on over here to the stove. We've got uh, three pans on here right now, so we'll do uh, three at a time. We're gonna do medium to high heat, and basically uh, you're just gonna divide it into three portions. Uh, you're gonna spray all the pans down with some pans so it doesn't stick. All right guys, so these have been cooking for a minute. The uh, big one still has a little bit to go, but uh, two smaller ones you can see are really starting to get cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them into quarters and then flip them just to make sure they're really cooked all the way through. let that one cook a little longer. Basically, like you can see, it's still kind of pink on top. You don't want to cut them and cook them and flip them until they're uh, pretty white on top like the other two were. So let that one cook a little longer. Um, so meatloaf's in the oven. These are like this. Um, to make a long story short, obviously once the other side's cooking of these, we'll pull them off and bring them over there to the food scale and weigh them. Same thing with the oatmeal, once it's cooked all the way through, we'll pull it off, uh, we'll bag it all out and weigh it, just depending on how much I'm eating. After we do that, let it just cool on the counter till it's like room temperature. And then uh, what I do is I actually just freeze them all. And then the uh, night before, I'll pull like the next day's food out of the freezer and put it in the fridge so it starts defrosting. So if you wanna come over here, basically, end story looks like this. These are all the turkeys just pre-portioned into the eight ounce portions I'm eating right now. Just keep them in there frozen and uh, there's no excuse not to be on my game whenever we do it like that. Uh, like one of those goofy sayings you hear people say, uh, you know, like when you fail to prepare, you, you uh, prepare to fail. Uh, that one couldn't be more true uh, in bodybuilding, especially on contest prep with your food. You never wanna be caught in a spot where you don't have your food cooked. I never leave home without my lunchbox. It's like my second arm. And uh, yeah, so basically that's um, all that I eat really on prep. So do uh, two servings of that turkey and then one serving of the burkey during the day, uh, the one serving of isolate and then two different servings of egg whites for all of the protein sources throughout the day for the six meals that I'm eating right now. And then uh, as far as carbs go, you saw me cook the red potatoes. You saw me cook the sweet potatoes. Um, I know you all have seen all those rices I eat by now. I've eaten one pretty much in every episode. Uh, and then the only other carb source I really eat right now is the recharge after I train and then uh, just oats for my first and last meal. So that in a nutshell is what I've been eating for the last 10 weeks and that is how we cook it. So. Hope y'all enjoyed seeing how I cooked my food. Uh, at the gym, I told y'all that I had some exciting news that I was going to be signing with a clothing company. So I'm gonna go grab that contract and uh, tell you what company it is and get it signed. So I'm really excited about that.
All right, guys, so uh, to make a long story short, when we were in Dallas for the Phil Heath Expo, I had the opportunity to train at Destination Dallas again, awesome gym. Um, got to train with uh, Sean Vasquez, who run the uh, overall and the heavyweight class at uh, Nationals last year, and he was uh, nice enough to put me in contact with some of the people at uh, GAS, and one thing led to another, and uh, ended up getting a contract offer from GAS slash Better Bodies, so I'm going to be signing on with uh, them through the end of the year. I'm really looking forward to it because it's not just a, you know, like a lifestyle brand, it's an actual bodybuilding brand. They have a stable of top level professionals and amateur bodybuilders. So uh, I really couldn't be more excited to uh, be with them. I feel very blessed for the opportunity. So a uh, big thanks to everyone over at GAS. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this being a good rest of the year with them and seeing what the future brings with them. So. Income paper, I am a gas athlete. So that's really exciting, guys. That's all I have for you this week. Uh, if you like this week's episode, be sure to subscribe to the Labrata YouTube channel so you can get uh, updates on when the future episodes will be coming out. We're doing our best to drop them every single Monday from now until the show. Um, I am having an awesome time doing this for y'all. I'm really, uh, really enjoying the feedback I'm getting on them. and. Uh, Definitely a, a good motivator for me. So thanks for everyone for tuning in to them. Um, be sure to check out next week's. Next week's is actually my birthday, so we're gonna be doing some cool stuff for my birthday. And then, uh, yeah. So hope to see y'all in future episodes. And I'm gonna keep on keeping on and getting ready for this show. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next week.